Welcome back to the channel everyone. Well, as you can see, I am in the cave and the reason I'm doing this video from here at the moment is because I forgot to film an intro when I actually went on this journey. <laughs> so I've gone with the old man of the mountains up to Loch, to try and find Loch Karusk on a boat trip. So we go through the Isle of Skye, we drive through Glencoe and do all the bits and bobs and whatnot. But this video is all about going to Loch Karusk. So I hope you enjoy it. Brilliant fun. We had a great weekend up there. I think I've got some decent images and I think I've got the image, one image that I've taken of this seagull that I thought was a seagull, but it was actually a sea eagle, I think is the best photograph that I've certainly taken this year, if not of all time. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, do all the rest of it. And if you don't want to do any of that, just enjoy the video and I hope you do. everybody <laughs> well it's about six o'clock in the morning and uh, I have to admit I am um, I enjoyed some of Sky's greatest exports well one of Sky's greatest exports last evening probably a little bit too much and a little bit for too long which is Talisker whiskey and uh, I have to admit it is one of my favorite favorite tipples so I do apologise, in the words of Gavin Hardcastle, I have got a face like a slap face. But I'm walking down now towards the beach at Elgol and my God, this is just absolutely unbelievable. I just am in awe of what I am looking at at the moment. It's just incredible. The tide is in as well, looking at it. As, uh, as I've said in the introduction, this isn't the main aim of this uh, trip when I've come with the Old Man of the Mountains. We're going to, lay, uh, to Loch Karusk, that's the plan. And we're going to get the boat this morning at about nine o'clock. Staying at this magnificent B&B, it's literally just in Algol. Incredible place, not expensive. Jonathan, our host, was... Uh, more than generous last evening having a good chat with him um i'll put a link to the description in the description of the the place we've stayed and also the uh misty boat to his um uh boat ride that we're going to go on today i'm walking down this hill <laughs> i'm literally carrying everything with me today i've got the whole um entourage of equipment the 16 to 35 the 70 to 200, the 24 to 70, and the 200 to 500 millimeter lens. And this hill is steep. <laughs> not so bad walking down it, but I'm not sure what it's gonna be like when I walk back up. <laughs> yeah, breakfast is at eight, apparently. I think it's gonna take me an hour and a half to get back up this hill. But still, cloud is broken this morning, which is, it's okay sunrise is set for about i think it's quarter past six but because like we're in a dip it's going to take a lot longer i think for it to actually penetrate and hit these mountains so we'll probably i don't think it's come up yet it might it, no it's not come up yet it's probably blue hour this at the moment so anyway enough of me walking and talking and rambling on i'm going to get down the beach and see if we can't find this first composition so I'll shoot some uh, nice wide angle panos so you can enjoy exactly what I'm seeing as well. Well, I've settled on a composition, but the light is not doing 
what it's supposed to. <laughs> Which is always the way, but hey ho, I'm going to flick you around, you can have a little look at this. Have a little look. So effectively, it's nothing original really. We've got rocks down here in the foreground, looking at the beautiful cooling mountains in the distance. And I was hoping, and you might just get a tickle there, I'm hoping that the light is going to come in and catch the tops here. Now, focus that, just focus that a little bit. It's saying that now the sun should be high enough to hit them mountains. But I've got this feeling, I think there's too much cloud on that side. So it hasn't hit it yet. And Jonathan is making us breakfast for eight o'clock. So I've probably only got, I reckon, another 20 minutes to wait to see. But today we are actually going on the boat from there, over there, into that sort of valley. And it's going to be absolutely magnificent. I, I can't, I can't wait to get there. But my nervousness is that put the camera on this morning, one battery dead, second battery's in, it's dying. I've got one more battery, and I was hoping to get to Fairy Pools this afternoon as well. So I'm going to have to charge it up in the car if I can. I'll work out a way of rigging that up. So we'll see. We'll see, but today's main journey is over that sea to Loch Karusk, and that's what we're going to try and get to. So, fingers crossed. If any of these images are any good this morning, I'll stick them up for you now. You can have a little look. I'm doing some long exposures. I put the six stop filter on. Time has decided to pack in, which is incredibly annoying. So, what I'm going to do is I've had to increase the ISO, so I'm shooting about ISO 200. I've got the little stopper in today, so that's smoothing it. I'll give you a 30 second exposure, F16. I'm going to take some shots of the mountains as well so I can focus stack it if I need to because I'm back on the 16 to 35 millimeter lens and as you'll have seen from previous videos it doesn't always f16 if you shoot, shoot a third into the frame give you that definition in the background so we'll see I'm going to do some focus stacking I think with this if these images are any good I'll put them now for you Well, here we are at Loch Karusk. Those mountains behind are the Coolins, and apparently we were told a fantastic story on the way here of how they've been named, uh, about an Irish warrior, and apparently he fought uh, a female warrior from Sky, and in the end he named them after himself because he couldn't defeat her. So I don't know whether I believe that, but then apparently they're also, it could be Norse, because the Vikings have been here, which is probably more, uh, <laughs> probably more like it. So I've lined up a little shot. This is um, tough here when I'm stood and we have to move because the sun is right behind where you are and effectively I keep getting my shadow and then the shadow of the tripod into the uh, into the shot which is um, not ideal, not ideal. But what a magical place this is. I'm gonna try and put the drone up so you might see some drone footage soon but the wind's quite strong so I'm not sure if, uh, if she'll be too chuffed flying in there in the gale force winds that we're experiencing every now and again anyway if this shot was any good it's a long exposure six stop filter polarizer 0.9 soft grad i've been playing around with the iso to get the shutter speed right um because my timer's not working so i'm limited again to a 30 second timer which is frustrating but still you can't have everything anyway if it's any good i'll put it up now for you
I've walked a little bit further down now and uh, to say it's challenging would be an understatement. I want to put the drone up but the old man of the mountains is trying to tell me not to. So I'm not sure whether to risk it because it'd be a pretty big I told you so if it ends up in Lake Karusk or Loch Karusk should we say. So I've got a little uh, composition just down here. I'm using the reflections of the sun, of the sky in this little pool but you've got to take it when the uh, hang on you've got to take it when the sun is behind the cloud behind you when the wind isn't there and then I've got to try and focus stack it with three photographs because I don't know what it is today but for some reason even in f16 and the sort of three feet these lens this lens isn't doesn't see the one at the background sharp which is frustrating to say the least but anyway I'll let you have a little look at the uh, composition so effectively it's uh, this pool that's in here and then you've got Loch Karusk and the Coolin, Coolin Mountains behind and I think it looks quite nice for a blue sky day with cloud it's not bad at all and we're the only people here which is quite amazing really when you think uh, where we are there's a few got off the boat some people are having a three night stay in a in a hut brought enough drink with them to sink a battleship so it looks like they're in for a good good few days up here on their own anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna put this drone up i think i'm gonna put it up and uh, you can have a look at some of the footage now I've just come down onto the shore and I'm a little bit disappointed because my drone software needs updating and unfortunately I've got no signal I mean I have very little signal everywhere on this O2 contract that I'm on but anyway this is uh, by the by so it needs updating so I'm not gonna be able to put the drone up hence no drone footage but it doesn't matter because when you look at that how could you be bothered you know it's just absolutely superb lined up the last shot i'm going to take here i think because the boat goes very shortly misty boat to us absolutely superb boys on there so i'm going to uh, i'm going to take this shot gonna, i've taken one that's just a normal exposure and i'm going to stick a stick going to stick a six stopper in it now and uh smooth that water out and you might be wondering why i've not had any delightful polish food today and that's because um unfortunately my fantastic polish mother-in-law I uh, wasn't able to make us any because I had to leave for Cumbria on uh, the Thursday evening and then drive up here on the Friday so my wonderful mother has gone the uh, extra step and put me in the old man of the mountains about 24 buns up, 6 Mars bars, a big 24 pack of uh, family size crisps uh, drink, a full full shooting match, I think she thought we were going to be feeding the uh, the whole boat when we uh, <laughs> when we came up here but thanks man, superb. Anyway, I'm gonna take this shot while the light's still looking nice like that. And if it's any good, I'll put it up now for you. That's it. My trip to the Isle of Skye has, uh, has unfortunately come to an end, but me and the old man of the mountains have had, a, had an absolutely brilliant time here. I mean, Loch Karusk is just absolutely out of this world, and misty boat trips, if you, if you want to go, book through those guys. They are absolutely unbelievable. 
they gave us a free cup of coffee on the way back as long as as well as the stories that they tell you on the way there it's just magnificent we were taking pictures of seals and we saw a couple of porpoises as well i wasn't quick enough with the with the camera to get them but i got a few pictures of seals which i'll, I'll put up at the end if they were any good but yeah if you're looking for a boat trip company then you know misty misty boat tours are absolutely superb and also we're staying at the bayview uh, bed and breakfast in elgol which Jonathan couldn't have been more of a, a, a host than he has been. He's been absolutely awesome. And um, it's about 10 minutes walk down to Elgol Beach. So if you want to do a sunrise, 10 minutes down. Be warned, it does take you a bit longer to walk back up because that hill is absolutely ridiculously steep. So, But me and the old man of the mountains have had a great time. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the images and, and whatnot that we've put up. And don't forget... If you like the content, like, subscribe, share with your friends and all the rest of it. But on an aside, I was looking on this uh, DJI Mavic uh, app last night and it looks like there's a bug in the app and there's no fix for it. So basically I can't use my drone until I get the, the app sorted or if there's a third party app. So if anybody flies a DJI Mavic Pro and they know what the fix is to get it to work, leave us a comment or send us an email because I can't believe that this is a ploy to make you force you to upgrade your drones like a Mavic Pro 2 or something like that. But anyway, I've rambled enough. Jonathan is making us a traditional uh, Isle of Skye fish stew this evening called Skirt Skin, something like that. I'll put the I'll put the title in the uh, down here somewhere. <laughs> Until the next time though, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you around. Wow. Superb.